what is up guys this is Arshad Samir welcome to the second window build tutorial in this tutorial I'm gonna walk through this auto generated code so let's start from here as you can see window class extends JFrame which means window class can inherit all the stuff from JFrame all the stuff in the sense all the methods and variables so inside the window class we can call and override all the methods which are inside the JFrame so that we call this JFrame as superclass and window as subclass that's what basically happening right from here so let's move into the main method here we are creating an object for window class when the object is created Java calls the constructor first any code you have in your constructor will then get executed you don't need to make any special calls to a constructor method they happen automatically when you create a new object constructor methods take the same name as class so after completion of this complete constructor method it's gonna move to the next line here so let's start what's happening inside the constructor method so let's focus on the first method set default close operation it pretty much helps us to terminate the window is because when we call inside this parenthesis jframe dot exit on close it helps us to terminate the window let me show how it works here as you can see when I click that red color close button it gets terminated is because here you can see right now it got terminated when I comment it and run it again then you can see here it's not terminated yet but when I close the when I click on this close button then also it doesn't get terminated is because I don't have such option so to terminate the entire window I have to have this set default close operation so right now I'm gonna terminate it by clicking on this button so there are so many options we can put inside this parenthesis right now we have learned what is jframe dot exit on close there is an one more argument that we can put from put in here that is jframe dot dispose on close I'll be discussing about that when we deal with multiple windows so let's move on to the next method which is set bounds as you can see there are four arguments 100 100 450 300 before explaining these four arguments I wanna tell one thing that is just uh, see my cursor very carefully in computer display here only it start which is from here X and Y coordinates both us both are zero and it's gonna increase Y value from here to here uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 9 7 8 9 10 like that and the X value gonna increase in this side so it's from start from here here 0 comma 0 X and the Y coordinates are 0 comma 0 so let's see what's happening inside this parenthesis so when we concern about this hundred and this hundred this is X X value and this is Y value so X value means from 0 to 100 from here to 100 value and the this is what the Y value and 0 to 0 to 100 from here so the window gonna display from 100 by 100 here the both the coordinates x and y coordinates are 100 comma 100 and other two coordinates are this is the wide of the window and this is the height of the window so as you can see now when we run the program it's gonna display right here is because from x it's 100 and y coordinate is 100 so this point is 100 comma 100 so when I make it as 0 comma 0 you can assume where will it, will it be display let's check here 
it's going to display in this corner that's what happening right here and when we increase the size of this number it's going to increase the wide let's make it as thousand and let's check it out this is what happening right here here you can see and someone may ask can i display it in the middle of the display in the middle of the screen yes of course you can so that what i'm going to do is that uh, rather than typing all these four digits four, four digits you can do one thing set size and set the size whatever you want i'm gonna just put it as thousand comma three hundred as before and uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to locate i'm going to position it in the middle of the screen so set location relative to relative to just make it null so let's run the program right now and you can see the window is right from the middle this is what happening right here so rather than typing all these things we can do this thing if you want to put the put your window in the middle of your screen this is what happening and the next thing is we need to know about the J panel. J panel is nothing but it is a generic lightweight container. What is a container? Container means it's gonna contain all the components which are which are inside the window. Is because we are going to place all the components inside the J panel and eventually we are going to place the content pane inside the window. For an example this is the window this is the window and what we are going to do is that we are going to place the J panel here in this box here only we are going to place the J panel and inside the J panel there will be so many components like J text field J text area and combo box uh, J radio button and check box all these stuffs are gonna be inside the container only that's container is pretty much known as j panel so what we have done here we have created an object for this j panel so from here i'm gonna call it as content pane and first of all what we are doing we are gonna set a border for that j panel so that we can uh, put a border around the j panel so that it will be looking very nice and as far as this argument is concerned here is we are giving an empty border so if we give any line border or anything else it will be look it will be visible to everyone so here it's an empty border so you won't be able to see what is what it is so let's focus on how to change all these borders and all these stuffs let's go into the design part and we need to wait for some time is because it's going to take some time to go to the design part okay there we go so let's check here as you can see here border empty border now when you quickly testing this window you cannot see any borders so let's change it as any line border or whatever it is and uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change it as line border so just change the pixel so you can look very nicely look it very nicely just change it as three pixel so click ok now you can see here is a border let's quickly check it out here you can see this is what happening there set border that's what happening uh, what we are doing basically we are going to create a border around the J panel that's what going to happen there so let's move to the program and let's see here auto generated this code has been auto generated and let's uh, see other part which is layout which is the most important thing to place all the components in well organized way so we need to know about all these layouts for now oh, I'm gonna discuss about this border layout is because here is only the border layout a border layout is pretty much like it lays out a container arranging and resizing its components 
to fit in five regions which are north south east west and center each region may contain no more than one component which means if you want to place more than one component you need to place a j panel in any region so that you can place more than one components on that panel so let me demonstrate that very quickly as you can see when i click on a button and when i try to place it you can see here north west center all these stuffs and i'm going to click on the north so as you can see this button gonna occupy the full place of the node i can place only one component so if i want to place more than one component what should i do i need to delete it out and i need to place a j panel so that i can place more than one component right now the j panel inside the j panel it set automatically the flow layout so we need to know about what is flow layout flow layout is pretty much like it's gonna place all the components one after another like you know let me show show you here it's gonna place all the components one after another if the space is not sufficient it's gonna come to the next line and it's gonna continue uh, one after another and so on and so forth it's gonna go like that only this is what flow layout flow layout does and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to place more than one component so that inside the j panel which is flow layout i'm going to place it here first button and the second button and the third button so let me quickly test it out yeah now you can see there are three buttons so that when i place a j panel in the north i can place more than one component this is what i was saying before so i think mostly we have done and finally after finishing all these thing we can say almost we have done the creation of the window so it comes right here and it sets the visibility for the user so that we can see this is what i want to say for this tutorial guys and don't forget to check out my check out my next tutorials and thanks for watching yeah i'll see you in the next tutorial